right, so welcome to the next day. Uh, we changed uh, the lights on the dashboard, super happy with that. I went to the auto parts store, couldn't get the light for the, um, for the hazard uh, flasher, but that's okay. So today what we're going to do is we're going to get this chair and we're going to put it in that truck. So what makes that complicated is that obviously these are the wrong connectors for the fender, but also these uh, slides are a lot shorter than the fender ones and are also closer together. So we need to think of a way to put them on. So how they are normally bolted in. Normally they're just bolted in the bottom. So what we need to do is we need to come about two centimeters each side inwards to line up with the other chair. And then it's just a lot shorter. So we'll see what happens there. So we've got an aluminium pipe. It's uh, five centimeters wide, two centimeters thick, and I think it's about two centimeters of, uh, of plate. Or uh, sorry, two mils. Uh, it's a little bit thicker than I wanted, but yeah, couldn't get anything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half, make uh, an angular cut so that we can bolt down, and then we can use the other edge to bolt up. But I'm probably gonna have to drill through the entire thing to, to do that. So let's get to it. Roughly the idea, it's definitely not the neatest job in the world, but uh, I think it will do for now. Let's see if we can get better at this. Alright, I'm very sorry guys, camera keeps turning off because the batteries are empty. Uh, this is my phone, so that's why. Um, so what I did is I marked them out, so they're the right length now. And we're going to use a stepped drill bit to drill the initial holes. Uh, and then hopefully that will work out. I'll uh, drill these out, let's see if they fit. Uh, these line up, I think. Yeah, those line up. Those also line up. Right, so you've been on the charger a while. I charged the phone, cleaned up some data, so now we can continue filming. Um, so quite a lot happened since we last left. The new chair is almost completely in. And the only thing that we still need to do is bolt up the front. So the rear is already bolted up. So you can see where the cooler is sitting. That's going to come back a little bit more, so back a little bit more and it's going to be a slightly smaller model <coughs> but yeah as you can see pretty neat fit and then this is actually the entire point of it so we can unscrew these ones on all four sides so if we slide the chair forwards we can also access the back um, and then we can take out the entire platform and access the battery because obviously this one doesn't have the takeout seats like that one has. So let me show you how it normally works. What you do when you don't have all the crap there. Normally what you do is you pick this one up, pull it up, put it somewhere else, and then you have a little box down here. So the passenger side, is actually a little bit more important on left-hand drive vehicles because the passenger side holds the entire fuse box. Ta-da! Which looks pretty minty. So yeah, so this holds the entire fuse box, the ECU and all that good stuff. So don't touch this, but we want to keep this one well accessible. That's not the reason we only went for one chair. Uh, the reason we only went for one chair is because we only really needed one and I could only afford one. Uh, but it is handy to be able to access your fuses in a pinch. 
now i might want to so now i might want to think about creating a secondary shut off for the main battery um but honestly i'm not 100 sure on that so we'll see if that's uh, required or how much that will cost when we do the 12 volt setup uh, i had to bolt this all up to get the final outline uh, but as you can see i can't slide the chair backwards more so i can't quite mark out where the next bolt's going to be so i'll have to be a little bit uh creative in that regard so one thing you could do to get the chairs to slide out further is to trim off this piece because that's actually all the the only part of it that is holding the chair back uh, you can already see the previous owner already cut out a bit uh, so it's not that big of a deal but uh, i'm probably not going to do it but yeah so the entire chair will come out uh after i mark probably these lines or something uh if you were me where would you have put a marker i don't know i don't know it's gonna be in the vehicle itself there we go so we have got the marker Okay. Now we also have to do the other side. these up right so we've got these four holes that drills into the, the into the defender and then I've bolted straight through here into the chairs so I'm gonna need to fabricate something up that is exactly like this on the other side so the main challenge is I used M8 bolts and nuts um, and M8 bolts and nuts require a 13 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter socket is 18 millimeters wide. Uh, and I don't own a drill bit that is 18 millimeters wide. So having to drill out those holes was kind of interesting. And I guess I'm gonna have to show you again. <laughs> Uh, you can see there isn't a hole big enough on this slider, but I'm gonna leave it mounted anyway. So I'm probably gonna use this hole, the one on the left, and just drill that out a bit. Uh, it's not going to be great, because that's going to be, this. the slider is steel and the thing is aluminium, but it is what it is. in so uh, that's a wrap up uh, I still got a lot of cleaning up to do um, and hopefully I can find those two rings that are missing uh, once that's done maybe I'll take a little drive but um, for now the end of the video uh, see you next time One of the spares out to the seat doesn't come up much higher than it needs to be. So currently, uh, I think the seat base will be, what would you say, 14 centimeters or something like that. Right, so like 13 to, on the high end, it's going to be 
15 and the default seats right so you need to realize these ones come up a bit but the default seats are slightly more and slightly more so the actual seating position i think is actually the same but it should be even a little bit easier to get in and out of so i think in that respect it's going to be a good up to upgrade